We also get Gordon, and I just want to say I've never gave this character on Supernatural because I hate Gordon. I don't know. Like, I, I just don't think you could have gone on. Well, I 
I mean, as I said, I thought it got a bit creepy. How? Because that's the big debate. How long the hell is on to that body? You can actually like, two hold days. I, well, you know, hold on to it. Like, I don't mean ripping on, like, from, the, <laughs> from, from purgatory. He ripped him tight and raised him from perdition. I'm talking about, you know, not letting the body go. <laughs> not letting it, you know, take its flight up to heaven. Or, no, well, technically, that wasn't heaven. But take its flight into, you know, like, they burn it like daddy. Or they send it into the ground. She basically thinks he's been living with this body for a year and whatnot. No, I don't. I never said a year. Having holidays and birthdays and whatever. I think maybe a week. I think a couple of days. And that I think a week is a little wrong. Which is why I don't think it was a week. But I don't think it was a couple of days. Because Bobby, because, okay, two days is how many... Like, the normal amount of time someone holds on to something for a hunting world is not normal. You grab the body, you burn it. You salt it and burn it. Yeah, but you do with the I wouldn't think it was weird if you held on to it for two days. Well, why do you but, have to think it's think, weird? Why are you so determined to think this is weird? Because Bobby was all like, like, you need to move on. He didn't say you need to move on. He said you need to bury Sam and come with me. we got to kill the demon. world's going to end. Jesus. I was paraphrasing. <laughs> Well, so was I, and I did it faster. Yeah, we all love your paraphrasing of the epic performance. Oh, Virginia. Yeah, that's what happened. That's the, that's the direction Jensen decided to go in. No! <laughs> Uh, no, that right. seems that seems actually really horrible to watch. I can I can watch all of part two when Sam's actually dead, but when he's actually dying and Dean's there, I can't watch that. It's really really horrible. All too okay with Sam dying. No, I don't mean like. No, that's not what I meant. I meant from Dean's perspective. You don't perspective. have to say it. Your eyes said it all. Your eyes said it all. All right. If I'm being truthful, nowadays, if this were to happen, I'd be like, huh. Now we'll stop talking for at least five minutes. <laughs> yep. I'm a bad fan girl. You're um, not a fan girl at all. I picked you out. Kick kick me out. Yes, I, I joined when you joined. Yes, but I'm a bigger fan. I'm yes. a dedicated fan. <laughs> yeah, well. My favorite TV show, I'm president, you're just the vice president, and you've been doing some shifty stuff on the side. <laughs> so, yeah. Fine. Me and Cass know what it feels like to be capped out no, by a family. Cass yelled Cillian, Cass yelled Cillian and Paula, we just kicked you out. Oh, Cass isn't going to the without door. Me. We didn't even stop the car and we kicked you out. Cass is still going. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> out the window as you're rolling. <laughs> That's what Cass yells at. He points and laughs. I know. I was like, Cass, you're laughing. <laughs> and he's like, this is just really damn funny. Okay. Um, trying to hurt my feelings aside. I um, wanted to grip her tight. I'll have my sexy angel do that, thank you. Anyway, so Dean goes to the Crossroads Demon, and this Crossroads Demon, best of all the Crossroads yeah, Demons they have. Technically, though, I think if I was the Dean of the Crossroads Demon, I'd be like, yeah, you can, you know, have your brother, and I'll give you a day, and then for the rest of eternity, you will begin to have sex with me. Well, she did get to make out with him. Yes, but see that, yeah, I'm sorry, but if you're, if you're making deals, you're gonna make a deal that really benefits you. Well, I don't think she. And who doesn't want to have sex with me? I think. For the eternity. I think she had the bigger picture in mind. You know, he needed to break the first deal and whatnot. Yeah, I wouldn't care. I know you wouldn't care, I'd but. I'd be the worst crossroads demon ever. <laughs> you would be. Or she's no, she's the worst crossroads demon. Who's thinking of hellfire when you got that? Who's really the worst crossroads? Demon? I guess Me? she was. So or Sam her. comes back, and this happens within about the first 15 minutes of the episode. So right away, the emotion of it is gone, you know? The sadness you're feeling, it's gone. I mean, you're a little annoyed that now Dean's going to hell, and you're going to have to deal with that for probably a whole season, and lo and behold, we did have to deal with that for a whole season. But other than that, this is where the pacing gets really off in part two, in my opinion, because there's, like, all that emotion flat, and then it... Well, it's not all that emotion. It's like all that emotion. We go on down the hill. We go down the hill, and then, like I said, she just yeah, it just keeps going. And you're like, wait, I need to stop for a pee break. And I'm like, no, no, no pee break. I like, yeah, I I like the last scene between them because it's very reminiscent of the end of the pilot, with the point of view from the trunk and saying we got work to do. 
roll credits. Um, and I do like that Dean's the one who got to kill Azazel, because he rarely gets those moments in this show. He always gets those moments. That's what I don't get. Dean is always the one to fix every situation. Oh, I'm sorry. Know, who yeah. did his best Jesus pose and tumbled backwards into the pit? Yeah, that's right. Fabio. <laughs> His hair was blowing in the wind. His hair was blowing in the wind. And Michael, the oh so powerful archangel, basically just pushed them both in together. I'm like, you idiot. But yeah, like, no. I'm just saying, it's always Dean. And you, like, reference one time Sam does something. And it's not even that, like, epic of a moment. Uh, it was stopping and Lucifer and the Apostles. It was supposed to be that epic of a moment. Well, I'm just saying, he just falls back. Dean's always the one that's like, I'm going to have to struggle. I'm going to be the fighter. I'm going to save everybody. He always gets that moment. And he always, in some ways, he, he saved Sam in season five and realized what Sam needs to do. Like, yeah, but understand. Sam's still the one who did it. Yeah, but still, Dean, I mean, it's not even like Sam can take all the credit. Dean always has to take some of it. It's like Sam telling stories, yeah, I sacrificed my soul. I went to hell. I was in the pit. And Dean's like, yeah, but don't forget, I did this. And he hugs the rug right from underneath it. That's what I'm saying. There's another thing with the problem with the show. Sam never has to take care of himself. It's always That's Dean true. has to come in and save everything. I like one season where Dean is in trouble. We can make the entire season Dean for Dean. Since every that season, season has been about Sam. It? Every season's been about Sam. Well, except season three, and it's a short season. Every and then, but it's always like Dean always fixes it all. Let Sam fix it once. I want to see Sam be the fixer and Dean be the one to fix the stage. That's not gonna happen. But uh, you good luck dreaming about that. <laughs> not gonna happen. So yes, Azazel's dead. End of the Psychic Kids plotline, open the Devil's Gate, who crawled out? Besides Daddy Winchester, Lilith, and now we've got her to deal with, and that brings on the Apocalypse, which brings on Castiel. That was season two. Bye.